Hey gang, Dozer here. The goal of this video is to help you guys get set up quickly and easily with Lethal Company mods, particularly the More Company mod and the Late Company mod, as well as go over common issues that you might experience when working with mods in the game. This also doubles up as a reference video that you can send to your friends if you yourself are playing with Lethal Company mods already and you want to get them set up but you don't want to have to show them yourself how to get it set up. Well, that's what this video is for. Anyways, let's get started. All right, first things first, buy the fucking game. It's $9.99 and it's on Steam. The next step is to download the Thunderstore Mod Manager. I'll have a link for it in the description below and go ahead and get the app right here. All right, it's downloaded. All right, go ahead and run in the installer. Install it wherever you want. Accept the terms and conditions. You don't need this other thing, so skip that. The Thunderstore Mod Manager, for those who don't know, it's just a really easy to use UI that allows you to manage your mods. It's used for many games and Lethal Company is one of them. This is just a simpler approach to mods. You don't have to like mess with the game files itself. This mod manager will do everything for you and it'll allow you to toggle things on and off. And there you have it. By this step, you should have Lethal Company already installed. So I'm going to go ahead and search for Lethal Company in this game selection. Select game. So the mod manager allows you to set up profiles. This is more of an advanced feature, but if you're just using this just for Lethal Company, just go ahead and select profile for default. So your screen should look like this if this is your first time using the Thunderstorm mod manager and Lethal Company. If you click on the top right here, it says my mods is at zero. So if you go to get mods, this will show you the whole catalog of available mods that you can grab using the mod manager. First thing you wanna grab is this first one right here, Bep in X pack by Bep in X. It's pinned right here, but if you need to search for it, just search for this word. I'm gonna go ahead and download it. The reason why you wanna download this is basically, long story short, Bep in X pack is required in order for other mods to work. So just go ahead and download it. There you go. So if I go to my mods, you can already see it right here. And this is the toggle to turn it on or off. So I could turn it off right here, turn it on right here. You are most likely gonna keep this on. For the sake of this video, we're gonna to go to more company. I believe it's one word. There you go. So type in more company, uh, one word by not, not, not swipes. Go ahead and download that. To keep things as simple as possible, anytime you download a mod, if it says to download with dependencies, just go ahead and click that. Otherwise the mod will not work properly. And there you have it. At this point, we have pretty much everything we need in order to use more company, which allows more than four players to join a session for lethal company, which by default only allows four. So notice at the top right here, you have vanilla and modded. So if you want to just launch the vanilla game, you can, but if you want, uh, you basically are always going to click the modded button because that's how you load in all the stuff. So if I click modded, it will find the game and it will launch it. You'll notice you're going to have a log window right here. You can sort of just ignore this. Um, I would leave it running. And there you have it. You can already tell that the mod is working because the logo is replaced with more company. On the bottom right, this is something I would recommend. This is included in the mod, uh, cosmetics that you can add to your character. Something that, especially if you have a lot of players, is really nifty to help distinguish yourself from other players. In this section, I wanted to go over a few mods that I would recommend on top of more company. Let's go ahead and go back to get mods. And I'm gonna go ahead and type in late company. Late Company, a mod to allow players to join you after the game starts. This is a very simple mod, but this is something I highly recommend, especially if you have more company, because typically if you want players to join you while you're in the middle of playing, you have to end the game, save the file, and then rejoin and then form the party again. This allows you so that anytime that your party is in orbit, your game is joinable by friends. So I'm gonna go ahead and download it. Again, download with dependencies. I think that's the only button you can press. And you can see here on my mods, it's already added. Again, it's toggled on. All right, so you got all these mods here and you attempt to join your friend who has a session going, but you run into an error. Oftentimes that error is due to the fact that you guys don't have matching mods. How do you solve that quickly? Well, let's get into profiles and how they work. So right now I have the default profile. But if you want to match your friend's mods, it is as simple as them sending their profile code to you. And what it will do is Thunderstorm Mod Manager will essentially synchronize all the mods that they have to you as well. And if they're unaware where the code is, it's up here on the top left, uh, you click share. And this is the code that they should send to you. So once you have that code, go up here to the change profile button. I'm gonna go ahead and create a new profile and I'm gonna call it tutorial pro profile just to give it a name hit create there it is i'm gonna go ahead and import 
update existing profile, which I have selected from code. I'm gonna paste the code in from my friend, hit import. If it says here, it's gonna overwrite it, that's fine. I'm gonna hit update pro, up, pro tutorial profile. Let's see how it looks. I'm gonna go ahead and select this profile. It brought in all these different types of mods. So you should have the same amount of mods that your friend has. Notice up here at the top, it says you have three available mod updates. Would you like to update them all? I would say always do this, update all. You, you definitely don't wanna enter the game if your mod versions are different. Always make sure that your mods are up to date. The way that Lethal Company works is whoever's hosting the game, their mods matter the most. So if you're joining their game, it's important that you try and match their mods. If you see any mods here that your friend has, but you don't personally want, there are cases where you can disable it and it won't affect your connection or your stability or the, or the game. But if you do run into any issues, then it's best to just make sure that your mods match. And there you have it. I hope you found this guide to be helpful. Please share your thoughts, questions, comments down below. If you have any suggestions of what mods I should try, please let me know in the comments. Also, be sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel. And I hope you enjoy your time working with the company.